Hey! This is an apple tree. I think that's not really a surprise to a lot of people, but it's kind of near and dear to me. I've been taking care of this tree one way or another for 25 years. Um, it's actually a picture of me in the UVM staff newspaper picking this apple as a uh, picking picking apples from this tree back when I was a work study student. And here it is, 2020, and I'm kind of the guy who's in charge of managing this whole orchard. Uh, and also uh, in charge of conducting research and teaching programs around fruit production around the state. So I'm Terry Bradshaw. Uh, I'll be professor uh, for this class, PSS 221, Sustainable Orchard Management. I'm standing by this tree because it's a pretty common, you know, easily recognizable sort of tree. Uh, to many people, you know, it's got a trunk, it stands, you know, 12 feet tall, big branches, starting to get some fruit. Well, it's got all the fruit that it'll have. They just need to get bigger and riper. But apple trees or orchard trees um, look a lot different from this. And in this class, we're going to learn a bit about how to manage these trees. We're going to learn stepping back um, how they came about, how they're uh, produced, why they're grown, why they're commercially important, but we'll also look at some of the uh, newer types of systems, the different types of systems, and uh, we'll consider them all within a lens of sustainability, and that sustainability refers just as much to uh, environmental as it does to economic and, and business sustainability. So we'll touch on a lot of pieces here. Some of the trees we're gonna look at might be grown in a different system. These trees are planted only three feet apart, 12 feet between trees, over 1,200 trees per acre. Um, kind of a new style of system where we erect essentially artificial trunks. A couple of different varieties that we're growing within this system. And we'll look at the varieties. We'll look at the systems. We'll look at even how we manage the ground cover underneath the trees and really kind of look at the, the key parts of managing a commercial, sustainable orchard system. Some of these won't even be apple trees. Standing here next to a row of trees planted just these, this year, so they're still fairly young. These are peaches. We're growing right here in Vermont. Uh, it can be done. There's different risks involved with growing other, uh, other types of, of fruit trees, but we'll touch on those. And uh, maybe we'll even get to try a few uh, Vermont grown peaches if I can find a way to uh, hold a few until class starts uh, the, at the end of August. We'll even talk about hard cider and some of the uh, varieties, old but new varieties that are used to make high quality hard ciders, including this Dabinet tree we're trialing out here at the farm. And also some of the kind of innovative things we're doing like trying to train cider trees to a whole new growth habit, uh, like this one or this one, uh, that allows for us to produce fruit, ideally you'll see, we'll see in about five years, uh, in a way that can substantially reduce the cost of production and make uh, the production of really high quality world-class ciders uh, affordable to consumers and profitable for growers. So I'm looking forward uh, to teaching this class. One of my favorite classes I teach. It's the first class I ever taught uh, as a graduate student many years ago. Um, got a lot of, of knowledge and experience to share. Uh, and I'm really looking, looking forward to uh, the energy and the eagerness of students uh, to get out here on the farm uh, and to experience this course with me. So thanks, and we'll see you guys soon.